It says we're live, so I'm gonna go with it. I tried using my little microphone, so I hope it's working. I couldn't find anything on my computer to test it. I don't know, you think, after all these things, I think I'm technologically sound and I'm really not. But uh, I had meant to do a live at about 2 p.m. and it is 3.30. So things got a little bit delayed. That's what happens with kids and plans. You just shouldn't make them, right? <laughs> So um, I'm just going to give a few uh, seconds of nothing talk just because I know people do like to see my live videos, which I'm not sure why sometimes, but uh, I like to have you guys here. So I'll give you a second to chime in and I'm using my computer this time so I can see the comments and I can also see my face, but it's like mirrored, which is very weird. It's like my, my grin keeps going on the wrong side. It feels like <laughs> it makes me makes me distracted. So that's, um, that's, so I do have a short plan of what I want to talk to you about, but mostly today is going to be like, if you want to watch me and talk to me, now's your chance. And, um, then of course it'll be replayed forever. So you can always talk to me more. Hi, Pamela. Uh, I think I even clicked the button so that these comments will show up when you watch it again, which I think I missed last time. And I don't really know what I'm doing. Can you hear me? Is the microphone working? Okay, I hope it's working. I assume you can hear me. If you can't hear anything, that would be a problem. I could type it. Oh, it is working. Good. Okay. Woohoo. Last time, I actually didn't have it on for a while, and then I put it on, and then when I was doing my, um, I'm trying to make these videos, these tutorials for the center out, and I was editing the video and I realized that at one section I had taken the microphone off and I forgot to put it back on because I, you know, I leave the desk to come back because someone's crying or something. And then I realized I missed that part. So, ah, this silly microphone is supposed to be helpful. Not sure if it really is. So, uh, if you saw, I asked on Instagram and in my Facebook group if you guys wanted to see my unboxing video today because I got a notification that my yarn shipment had been put it to post office. Here in this teeny tiny town, nobody gets mail at their house. Unless you do like FedEx, they'll come to your house. But most of your regular Canada Post mail, because the town is so small, we don't have mail carriers that go to each house. They just have a post office and you have to show up during office hours with your little key. Then you open your tiny box and then there's a little, it's a box that doesn't fit in there. You then have to go inside and say, here's my card. And then they give you your box. And I forgot that today was a holiday. So there's a notice in my email saying they left me a card, but I can't go get it. And that means that they're not open on Saturdays and they're not open on Sundays. And Monday, I don't even know if it's a holiday or not. Is Monday a holiday where you are? I forgot Friday was a holiday, so I never know if Monday is the holiday. And I don't know if I have to wait basically like, it feels like forever for my yarn. And it shouldn't really bother me because it's not like... I could use that yarn right now anyways. I have so many things on the go. The yarn that was supposed to have come is for all my cat squares. So that's these ones here. And I, oh, don't fall down on me. <laughs> I have usually a lot of my projects, I like to just use my stash yarn because I am not cool enough yet to have asked any yarn companies for yarn. I'm sure that designers can do it. I'm sure there's an easy process. Just haven't done it. So I buy my own yarn. And for this project, I decided to get a little expensive, which might not feel expensive for some of you. Maybe you're used to buying yarn. When you're not used to buying yarn and most of your stash is from everybody who has given you yarn for years and years and years, and suddenly you go, wow, yarn is expensive. It's not a federal holiday, but is a holiday for kids in school. That makes sense. Yeah. See, we homeschool, so I don't have that to cue me into the holidays either. Every day is pretty much the same around here. Mitch does not work like a Monday to Friday job. I do not work a Monday to Friday job. The kids are not in school Monday to Friday. None of us pay attention to holidays. So I forgot. That's, uh, that's my life. So back to my little squares here. I'm sure you've seen them. This one was January cat and they are about 22 inches. 
They're supposed to be like 20-ish inches. I think mine stretched out a bit. I did try blocking one and it's cotton blend, cut like 80% cotton and something else. And it went, it got a little bit smaller, which maybe you can't tell in that little picture. Um, this is a very wide camera. I don't even know how that happened either. I hope you can see the whole thing. I don't know. Although I didn't really want you to see all the mess behind me, but that's okay. So this yarn, because I wanted the blanket to be, I want to do all the 12 squares in the same yarn so that all of them can join together easily at the end. But each, each square, the, the balls are so tiny. They're just like this. And I, that's tiny. Like I'm used to buying. <laughs> so I get this when it's like on sale and these ones aren't on sale because now they're for a very specific project. And so this is Premier Home Cotton, which is 85% recycled cotton and 15% polyester. And then, oh, I guess maybe only the black one is recycled. The pink one just says 85 cotton and 15 polyester. I don't know. These are them. Let's see if you can, is it gonna, I don't know. Anyways, they, they feel nice. They're cotton, so they're um, not too stretchy like acrylic, but they have a little polyester in them, so it's flexible and it's not too stiff. And I find that it's working up beautifully. I really like it, but it costs a lot more than I was expecting. So I need two, the black ones, they are 131 yards slash 102 meters. It's nice that they do that conversion for us. And the stripey ones are less. There's only 96 yards or 88 meters, which means I need two and three for every square. And if I manage to do a square that doesn't have a color change in it, like the orange one, the orange was the same as the black yardage. So I only needed four, two and two, right? And each little ball is like, I think it was 375, which is like 375 Canadian. I don't know if that translates to anything for you guys. So anyway, that means that each square, if it's like 375 times four or times five, each square is costing me, oh, I can't do that math in my head. I mean, I could, but you would just sit there and watch my brain go, what? Let's see if I can do that here. Oops. See, I'm not good at the buttons here either. 375 times four, fifteen dollars, or 375 times five is 1875. And there's 12 squares. That's like ninety dollars. If I do like six solids and six stripies, that's like ninety dollars and $112, which is like $200. So my brain goes, I've never spent that much on yarn ever, which is why when I was at the store and I was originally picking out these pretty colors and I was going, oh yeah, I should get a couple of these for my cat blanket that I just designed and it hadn't started yet. So I grabbed like a handful or a bucket full. I don't know what it was, but then I came home and I started counting and I realized I didn't have enough. So I went back to the store and I bought more. And then I went back to the store and I bought more. And then I tried to order some more because I realized that I actually have like 12 cat squares and that's a lot of yarn. So I keep needing more. And I don't know, maybe you plan things better than me. I should plan. If I had done like a yarn kit, which is on my list, someday I'll be cool enough and I'll have a kit with some brand and I'll be famous and I'll be like, look, you can buy my kit. And they will know that you need all of the yarn for a project instead of buying it five times. So moral of the story is that's what was supposed to be arriving today. And I mean, technically it arrived. I just don't have it. So the yarn is in the box and it's more of these, more black and more colors because I have all these squares that I've been making. I'm sure you've seen them. So there's like January, and there's February. No, that one's March. Where's February? Here he is. February. Oh, there we go. February cat. This one is March, I can tell because he's the L and he goes with love, which did I finish the O? L, no. Um, I was gonna show you O, it's not out yet. <gasps> Spoiler alert, but I'm allowed to spoil. They're my, they're my own patterns. Here's the O. So then you would have L, O. Oh yeah, you can't see that. <laughs> 
And that's not sure that's working. LO, is it working? Hmm, anyways, there'd be like four. If you wanted a small blanket, you could just do L-O-V-E. But if you want to make the whole blanket, they come out March, June, September, and December. So I did finish that one. And this one is May. Should I show you May? Oh, May's coming out like two weeks. You only have to wait two weeks to find May. May is a hard one to see. I'll, I'll show you April first. We're in April right now. He's already out. Okay. Are you ready? Are you a quilter? I know I do quilt things too much, maybe. I don't know. This is almost like a quilt pattern. And I think in the actual quilt pattern, you're supposed to have the head of the cat here. And then when you join them together, you really can't tell. It's like a tessellation. But I just have cats. And no matter which way you turn it, there's a new cat with his tail in the corner, right? Or in the center. No, that's my little cats. So that one is solid color. So he was cheaper. <laughs> and I bought so much yarn this year. I was doing like my yarn inventory. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm spending all my... I make some money on the patterns and then I just spend it on yarn. Oops. So anyway, I ordered more yarn. <laughs> and then this one's going to be July, I guess, because that's where I am at. And I have some in my drawer, more yarn for most of the squares. Now that this shipment has arrived, ish, I should have enough yarn to finish everything except one black one. It's sold out. I can't get it at my usual places. And if I want one black $3 skein, I'm gonna have to pay like $15 shipping. So I did find it at one place, but I didn't wanna pay the $15 shipping. That would make it very expensive. So I didn't order it there. And then I thought, well, I should probably order it there. But then if I order it there, I might as well pay $120 and buy $120 worth of yarn so I can get the free shipping. You know what I'm saying? You guys do that too? It can't just be me. That's how I shop. That's how they get you, right? That's the trick. They're like, buy more yarn. And then we're like, okay, I will. <laughs> so that's my little spoiler. Show off my little cats. Don't have any yarn to show you. Here's my bag. It doesn't have any yarn. And I had also ordered some um, Sheepies Whirl. It's the one that's color changing and it's fancy and it was a little expensive as well. Maybe it's not really expensive. Maybe it's just me. Like it says only five people are watching. So Maybe I feel like I can say it to five people, but then I know like a hundred people will watch this video eventually. So maybe I shouldn't say it, but I'm going to say it. So I grew up very poor. My mom was a single mom. We had my sister and me, I'm the oldest. And my mom would work like five jobs at a time, but she was constantly losing jobs and always had a new job and still never had enough money. And we grew up very poor. Like literally I did not eat. <laughs> so money is kind of like one of those issues for me where everything just feels expensive and I'm sure that it's from that because everything was always too expensive you just everything was my husband is constantly telling me like if none of your clothes are fitting go buy some clothes because I've had this shirt for example since university <laughs> right like it, that was 10 years ago and I have bought maybe one shirt since then and after three babies your clothes don't fit the same way and I just I don't buy the clothes I can't afford them and he's like yes we can and then I say no I can't and then I go to the store and I feel overwhelmed and I get flustered and then things don't fit me still because my body is different and then I just don't buy the clothes so I do that with yarn a little bit too so I'm trying to grow and expand and say okay, maybe I can afford to buy yarn for my business if it's going to say, look at the pretty colors. And then people will look at the pretty colors and say, wow, her pattern's cool. And then they will buy the pattern. But to buy clothes for myself, that's like a different story. If I buy clothes for myself, that doesn't make our family any money. And that shouldn't be how it works, but that's how it works in my brain. So that is too personal. I'm done. Throw it away. Turn it off. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, that is kind of basically where I'm at is my yarn is I splurged and I want to see it because I actually spent money on yarn. I do have some tiny little squares here. I was working after I'm done talking on this live video to myself. 
Um, well, Pamela might still be here. I'm not sure. She might have got busy too because sometimes people pop in and pop out and people watch, but then they're not really watching or they click the buttons. Who knows? But um, I've been working on these squares. They go from the center out. So the yarn changes, you can tell. And the one that started, this is the first one because that was how the color gradated. It was like gray to purple. And then it went purple to pink. And it went pink, pink to a different purple. Purple to bluish, tealish, peacock, whatever that is. So then here's my next one. I got the beginning. And the color is going to change to green soon. So this was from Mandela. What's it called? Sirens. And I think a friend sent this to me from the States. Uh, I might have bought this one in Canada, but I think she sent it to me from the States. So I was going to see how many... Oh, look! Still here, and I watch. Thanks, guys. I think, actually, if I was really cool, I could do things like this. Um, put user in timeout? No! <laughs> I, okay, well, I don't know. I thought it was going to, like, scroll up on the TV screen. Have you seen other videos? Maybe I don't watch enough live chats of other people sometimes it comes up on the bottom of the screen it'll say like somebody's comment and if you're watching the comments you know that it's not every comment that comes up there so i don't know how they make that got uh, pop out toggle hmm well i'm not putting you in time out that's no add moderator pin message i don't know i don't know thanks for commenting i have no idea how to make them cool pop out chat Oh, that's fun. New pin chat. You can pin it. No. Okay. Nothing to see. Oh, it's gone. It's back. I'm going to stop clicking things. I used to be in high school. I was like building my own website, doing the coding, like HTML, actually typing it in as to design the, the things. And I was computer savvy and I did all of our defrag and blah, blah, blah. And then I went to university. And all my brain power went to reading textbooks and writing reports. And now I had babies and now I have no brain. It's all gone. My husband laughs at me because I often, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing on this phone. I can't make it something, something. And he's like, will you just slow down? And I'm like, okay. I feel like an old lady. I don't know how to use my technology and I'm not that old, but technology just keeps changing. And where was I? Okay, so here's these squares that I think are looking pretty fun. There's lots of colors and they look nice. And I was showing these on Instagram. You figured out, how to see, technology is great. Hello, Cindy, she figured out how to comment. We're all learning together. Monique is watching, Pamela is still here and Cindy is commenting. This is like a party for me. Now, if I was really cool, ooh, we should try it sometime. What's the one where you can put all the videos and then I can see your faces too. But then I don't think you can do like a live replay. I guess I don't really know. Anyway, someday I'll make better friends and you guys can see me and talk to me and it won't just be talking out loud. Although it is fun. I like to talk, obviously. Some people are like, yeah, we know. Anyway, so that one I asked on my group. Here's the, the interlocking version. And... Um, Somebody gave me the name suggestion. I was going to remember who gave me the name suggestion, but I don't remember who it was. They were saying it looks like dream in a dream or something like that. Dream on a dream, dream upon a dream, dream in a dream, something like that. That's what we're going to name them. So that's going to be probably the first pattern that I come out with after I get my tutorials done. So the tutorials look like this. That's the interlocking ones. Most of them look like this pretty. Mm -hmm. I made a bunch of them. And then the mosaic is, I use these, but then I ran out of this yarn. See someone, oh, I did have a sponsored yarn last year. Um, this was like Knit Picks Twill Merino, and I made that scarf, the braided chains mosaic scarf. And it's super nice, but this was the leftovers. That was it. There was all that was left over. Am I going to pay $13 for one skein when I need at least two colors? Plus, like, probably you need more than one skein to make a blanket. Maybe someday, but not today. So I just keep putting that in the bucket. I don't have any more to go with that one. And then my tutorial, I'm using these leftover, like I don't know what brand it is or anything. They were just in my box. Somebody gave me, well, multiple times, I've been given a whole box or a whole garbage bag full of yarn that sometimes has full skeins and most of the time has like 
scrappies. Um, so I use them because <laughs> it's yarn, but I have no idea what brand this is. It's definitely acrylic. I mean, you can feel it. And these are the ones that I'm using for the tutorial. This is how far I got. This is row, well, because mosaic, it starts with zero in the middle. So one, three, five, I think I'm about to do row seven. And there's only 10 rows. It takes a long time to do the tutorial though. The tutorial video is like over an hour and then the PDF with all the photos is taking me more than I expected. I think that's pretty much how everything goes. It takes longer than expected. So I'm not finished that one yet. And I'm hoping to get it finished soon. Uh, oh, here it is. So this one is my double wedding ring square. Now it goes out here to make that double wedding ring when you join it to the other squares. And I wanted to make it center out so that you could just keep going and make the whole blanket, which means now I had the square easily enough, but I have to keep going and make it um, so that you don't have to join squares because you're doing the center out. Why would you want to join, right? And then, so I'll update that listing to have the center out once I get the tutorial up. And then I'll publish that dream, dream and a dream or dream upon a dream or whatever we're gonna name it. And I have some papers printed that I have to finish videoing for the tutorial. So I missed a section. So that's on my list. And instead of working on that the other day, I made that bag, you might have, might have seen it. It's over there somewhere. Oh yeah, it's on the cupboard. Maybe you can see it right there. Mm, the lighting is bad. It's because my window is here. I thought the window would help, but it's in the cupboard right here with some toys in it. <laughs> I already gave it to the kids. They like the pretty colors and it's easier to throw all the toys in the bag. Yay, it's put up. Because we always have a mess. It's a small place. There's always toys. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I could show off more squares, but I think you've seen them all. It gets kind of boring, doesn't it? I have an entire bucket beside me. So this is for me to make more of those small squares, the tutorial square. This colorway is going to be my interlocking ones. This was a given to me, no label, but somebody told me the name of it. So maybe I'll buy more. And it is the cheap yarn. It's like Red Heart Super Saver which means a skein of this is only $7.50. And I still feel like it's too much money. Um, it's mostly because I have so many projects going on and I have so much yarn that I probably should just use that instead of buying more, right? So I have that on the go. Of course, I have my cat squares. This one is not very far along, but that's okay. And I have been working on, this is my project bag usually. Um, it just has red and white in it right now because I've been working on this Canada Day blanket. Oh, it's getting kind of big and heavy. You're never, oh, never boring, she says. I'm never boring. My yarn is never boring. Maybe I get boring, but the yarn is always entertaining. <laughs> May want to try Amazon, except I'm in Canada, which means that the prices are always dumb. I did look on Amazon for this one, the Premier. So I can get one of Skeen on Amazon, one little black one, for $15, which would save me $3 versus buying it on Lovecrafts because it was $3 on Lovecrafts plus $15 shipping. So I feel like for that price, I might as well just buy $100 a yarn and get free shipping, right? If I could find a place that sells Super Saver yarn and this yarn, and then I would have to, I could buy both, yarncanada.ca that's where I buy a lot of my yarn they sell both but they're all sold out of black I just bought all the last that they had and even that order she actually emailed me and said we don't have blah 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 whichever color I had gone I think teal or something right so you have to pick a new color or cancel that part or whatever so I said yes pick some different color but it has to be three of that color and so I had ordered three of blue and then she said there's only two so I said well get rid of them get me three of something else because the square has to be full. Yeah, so Canada is shipping in the States and then the dollar value changes, right? So Lovecrafts will do Canadian dollars and there was one other, Lion Brand will give me Canadian dollars, but it is still more expensive than people in the States have to pay. So that's always, I don't know, it's my money thing, right? This one is getting big and heavy. 
it's acrylic yarn, but it's heavy acrylic. Like maybe you guys are smarter than I am about yarn or maybe you don't know. So like this acrylic yarn is very light. This cotton yarn feels almost the same, even though it's tiny because the fibers in it are different. And the yarn that I'm using for this Canada blanket, I bought it like this. It's in a bag. It says tent sail baby and tent sail is like spin right. There's a factory outlet in Canada that ships if you were to order from like spin yarn inspirations is that what it's called there's a Canadian outlet center and I follow their Facebook page and sometimes they put on splash sales and you can buy for example these ones it was 50 cents a skein but you had to buy in multiples of three. Oh darn I have to pay a dollar fifty for this right that has a pretty good deal so I bought a whole bunch way too much actually because I didn't know what project I was going to make with it and I also wasn't entirely sure if the pricing was accurate because that's too good of a deal and I was like that can't be right so they're saying you have to order like how many should I order then so I think I ordered three times as much as I needed to because I thought that I was buying a dollar fifty and really it was a dollar fifty for all three so I literally have like 30 of these still left and I'm nearly done this blanket <laughs> I was like oh Okay, so this is why I shouldn't buy any more yarn because I have lots. I just don't want to make more red. I'm bored of red. So whatever is in this acrylic, it's, it feels heavy anyways. And then the other yarn that I was using, um, the label's not on it anymore. I don't know what it was, just white. So it feels heavy anyways. Almost done that one. I'm going to be updating that one because guess what? Not perfect. That one, when I designed it, maybe you've seen, it's really big. I can't lift it again. The bottom and the edges has like, um, it's supposed to be like a toque. So it's like, I kind of thought of it as like the brim that goes back and forth, you know, those wavy brims. I don't know, maybe I don't want to explain this. <laughs> anyway, inside there's like maple leaves and some loons and some words that say it's old Canada and forget what's on there. An Anukshuk, that's that little man thing. Okay, I'll lift it, I'll do it. There you go, maple leaves. We have, well, we don't have pennies anymore, but we used to have pennies. This maple leaf was on our pennies. And we have loonies. They're a dollar. They're called loonies because there's a picture of a loon on the dollar. So penny, loony. Then it says, oh, Canada. Oh, it's heavy. And then a nookshooks for a promo. We have also what we call a toonie. <laughs> it's a $2 coin. And when it came out, people, well, you have a loony. Now you have a toonie, right? And this one, um, these little, they're usually made out of rocks. Here's my little tail in a really horrible place. Sorry, man. Um, the, they're usually made out of rocks or stones that are found. And it's usually um, our indigenous people that create them. So it's kind of very Canadian, I would say. Then I had another row of the maple leaves. And when I drew it up, obviously it looked fine. Oh, and then the, the top is this border thing again, right? When I drew it up, it looked fine. I liked it. You guys didn't complain. However, it has been brought to my attention that the maple leaves, maybe you can't see it. So you can see how it gets, it's cut off, right? They just go across and then they run out of space. And on the top row, they get cut off at a different place. So essentially the two things, one is just over a few pixels. And Many people really like symmetry. They don't like this, that it's over by a few pixels. So I'm going to update the pattern. And I wanted to wait until I had my fancy photo to go with it. That was one of my earlier blankets when I didn't have testers do it and I didn't put a finished photo with it. I just give you the photo that the computer gives me. So that was trying to catch up to myself essentially. So um, yeah, that's on my list and it's been on my list for about a year <laughs> and it will be done before Canada Day, July 1st. That's the goal. But until then, I'm gonna put it on the back burner and keep working on my tutorials. I'm almost done this one and then I will, I'm almost done the pictures so that they go in the photo tutorial. And then I take the photo tutorial and I put it next to me and I video some me talking again and I tell you how to read the chart and blah, blah, blah. 
then I have to edit the video and then I post it online and I write up the page that says get your download here and look at it here and go over here and click here and that takes way longer than you think it should but I like to be thorough sometimes and um yeah I thought I would be done that by now but I'm not so that's the goal for today I just hear talking to waste my time I guess <laughs> I just take my opportunities to talk on a video when the kids are gone dad took the kids I get some alone time in the house got to make my videos so that's pretty much it unless you have questions and then there's eight people watching me right now so you must have burning questions and I can answer them otherwise I think that is the end of my life I even put a makeup on for you guys weird I just thought my face looked pretty pale <laughs> so I just I put some uh, gloss on oh how do you how do you show your eyelids oh there we go the close your eyes so I put on a little bit of makeup so that my video wouldn't look so silly honestly I pretty much never wear makeup I don't go on dates because I have three kids and we keep moving so we don't have any babysitters <laughs> and um, we're always renovating and broke and I just like crochet so my husband doesn't care he doesn't when we were dating and I used to be much fancier when we were dating. I put my makeup on every day. I actually had like a loose perm. So every day I would scrunch it with mousse. And I was had like highlights. And I had like peekaboo highlights under here that were like super white. It was like bleached. Anyways, I was really cool and fancy back then. And my husband, I was dating him in university. And he wouldn't kiss me if I had lip gloss on. Because he really hates the feel of lip gloss lip gloss so that kind of started me in going well if he doesn't like it why am I wearing it and then if you don't wear it why are you buying it and then you have kids and you forget so Bernat Black Big Ball what is Bernat Black Big Ball that's sort of like this one right this is not Bernat though but it is big impeccable big that is a pretty good price I have quite a bit of black yarn already um these ones specifically are home cotton so that the texture is the same and when you're washing it's the same so i'm probably not allowed to be buying any more yarn unless it's exactly what i need for a project but mary maxim i always forget that they do ship to canada my mother-in-law has mentioned a few times there was something she liked there i could write it on a list but honestly i don't have a list here i'll text it myself later where's my phone found it i'll put it on here mary maxim because i always I check out Lion Brand and I check out Yarn Canada is always my first go-to. Mary, come on, type better. There we go. Mary Maxim, yeah, I'll check them. Maybe they have the other stuff too. And then if the price was better, but what's their shipping like? Because that's really the issue. If they're gonna say it's $15 to ship unless you spend $120, I wanna spend $120. I would rather pay that money for yarn instead of just paying it to nothing. Right? Give me the yarn. But maybe next month I'll order more yarn because I think I did enough ordering this year. I mean this month. Well, probably this year too, but we won't go there. <laughs> um, I have, I did that unboxing video a little while ago that was from Hobby. And then the yarn that didn't arrive but is arrived from Yarn Canada with those extra premier homes. And I am also waiting on yarn from Lion Brand again. I forget what sale they had that was really good. They had a good sale and I took it. Oh, I know what it was. Okay, so it's for a project. That's why I let myself buy it. Long time ago, before I started designing, I bought yarn. And it was like this. Um, this one, oh, that window is too bright, isn't it? Sorry. Summer Nights. It's a fingering weight yarn and it was just so sparkly. The one I bought, it's probably at the bottom of the bag. It was double this size and it was on their clearance section. And so I bought it and I hadn't made anything for a while. And then when I started crocheting, I started the project. Then I started doing designs. So the project got tossed in the do it later pile. And then I bought some of this yarn of different colors on sale. Um, window is too dark. Maybe if I close the curtain, but then you can't see me. And then I have my little light here. Well, anyways, there's some yarn. I bought a bunch of it. 
and it was on sale. And then when I saw that they had it still on sale, it's being discontinued. And what if I run out? So I bought more, but it was literally like $2 for a skein like this. And this has 875 yards for $2. So I had to buy it, a whole bunch of them. And then since I was ordering, I also bought some yarn that is, um, uh, I forget what it's called. It's like yarn that's thicker. Um, stiff, mm, like cotton, but something else. Uh, anyways, I'm going to make myself a hat. That's the plan. A sun hat. And I didn't want polyester for that. And most of my stuff is like acrylic, right? So I ordered some of this hat yarn and that clearance stuff. So that's also on its way here, which is why I didn't really want to buy more yarn again, because I literally spent $200 worth of yarn in the last two weeks. Should I order again? Um, let's see, there's words here. Oh yeah, I probably, flat rate shipping, I should probably look into it, right? <laughs> if I was really clever and I focused, I actually think I should probably look into asking these companies like Lion Brand and Impeccable, I don't know, I see them premier and they, they would give me the yarn because I'm designing things and I advertise them, right? Don't you see other famous people? Like Katie did, she does all those stuffed animals that are fluffies. And I'm sure Michaels gives her yarn because she's always doing promos for them. And then there's some other guy that does stuffed animals as well. And he always is tagging Joann's, which is a yarn store in the States, which is we don't have here. But anyway, I know it's a yarn store. And I'm sure that people get yarn, but I just didn't look into it yet on how you do it because I have lots of yarn here. And it's just another thing on the list, right? Ooh, another thing on my list. Have you done diagonal double crochets in mosaic and do you have a tutorial? Don't have a tutorial, technically haven't done it. I've watched enough other projects that I get the concept and I could do it. The, um, the issue for me would be how do I easily put it on my charts so that people know what it is. And I haven't bought charts from other designers to see how they do it so there's that fine line between like market research and just like scoping out the competition that I I just don't have time to deal with that right now so technically I know how I'm not sure how I'd put it on my charts to show you and when I do figure it out I definitely will be putting it on a tutorial because I, I kind of like doing the tutorial videos Canada is international shipping that usually means expensive right if anyone wants to buy me yarn <laughs> Don't do that. Buy my patterns and I'll buy my own yarn or I'll figure out how to ask people for yarn. Um, and Or I'll just like use the 10 totes of yarn I have. It's bad. It's bad. I have to crochet faster. Stop talking. Get back to crochet, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. That is the plan tonight. So, I will finish this tutorial tonight, hopefully. I will finish the PDF photos and the video and then I edit it and then I post it to um, YouTube but I don't let the link be live and then I ask a few people they check it out see if you like it because I did that with my interlocking one the interlocking one is technically uploaded the PDF is ready but I didn't tell you yet I didn't tell you because I'm not ready I want to have both techniques so that I can put them on Ravelry in one listing and just like all my other listings, it has two files for two techniques, right? I'm holding nothing here, <laughs> right? Looks weird. Where'd I put that bag? Hmm. Well, you know, that's how my organization goes. I just sort of toss things around and then I go, how come I can't find anything? I found it. Michael's is Canadian too. I'm not sure if they always were or if they switched, but yes, we have Michael stores in Canadian. And so they do have a shipping um, online too. Their shipping costs are bad. So they have like, if you order online, you can do ship to the store that's close to you, which none of them are. We live an hour away from the big city. I'm not driving an hour to pick up my yarn and then driving back home. That's gonna cost me more than $15 in gas. Have you seen the gas prices lately? That's bad, they're bad. So I'm not, um, I don't really shop there. I have shopped there in the past when we lived in the big city, which was just a couple months ago. 
if you go into the store, that's another fun thing, which is how I bought some other yarn. I went actual shopping, but lately I don't have time to do actual shopping. That looks like dirty laundry behind me here. I just realized that it's not. We got a, a new dresser and we just had all the clothes in boxes here that need to go in the dresser. And I just realized that my video looks like it's just a pile of dirty laundry behind me. I'm like, not that unorganized. Eesh. <laughs> okay, I missed some comments. Let's see. Um, hi. Yes. Oh, I just missed like not too much. Okay, hi. I do like the highs. They're fun. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Blah, 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 blah. Talking about yarn, talking about the stuff behind me, being embarrassed about my messy little house. There's like duct tape on the wall behind me. That's, that's, um, the, these are panel boards. It's a trailer, like a mobile home. And the panel, it's from the 70s. And it was very popular to have panel boards. So that's like a whole panel that gets stuck next to the other panel. And then that strip in between had like a finishing piece. So that was in both bedrooms. And when we moved in, Mitch took the other bedroom walls all off so that he could put better insulation in because 70s insulation, not quite up to our same standards as now. And we didn't want to pay that much for heating, so better insulation. So he took all the panels off and he was trying to be careful, but a few of those little tiny things broke. So he then scavenged from this room to make that room finished. So this room is still on the list. I don't know what his plan is in here because now we don't have those little things that go between the panels. And so this is like the in-between room. And I did get um, like a big stand and you're supposed to clip a background to it. Uh, I won it last year from a competition thing. Well, not a competition. You just enter your name. I didn't have to do anything cool. So if I was really fun, I would set that up behind me and then I could have like a nicer background. But I can't find the background that I ordered. So welcome to moving life, right? I know where the stand is, the big metal things, and they take up a whole lot of space. So there, there isn't even room for me to set it up here when there's like a dresser right behind me that's not been unpacked and blah, blah, blah. So um, you just get to see my mess. That's the way it is. There's like toys. That's what normal life. I'm a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> not that the cool crochet people who have like fancy crochet videos they're not not normal people they just are cooler than me <laughs> anyway um I'm glad that I had some people watching my video I think I need to go do this tutorial because otherwise I'll run out of time for my video part and then the kids will come home and I'll be like ah, I'm still not done so it was fun talking to you guys but I think I should be done and I should go now um, next time, Monday, if they're open, I'll get my yarn. Otherwise, I have to wait till Tuesday. And I think I'll put that live video on Facebook because just like to spread it out. Then it gets other people seeing the videos. Some people only follow me on one place and the other place, blah, blah, blah. So I think the next one I'll put on Facebook. My Facebook page and my Facebook group are two different things, actually. The group is private. Anything you share in there, people can't see unless they're already in it. And the page is the one where you can't really comment. You can't post anything unless it's just a comment under something I've done. So the, the page is also where this week's competition, competition isn't the right word, contest. Contest for this week is on my Facebook page. So I think my next live will be there. But by that time, that contest will be over because it's over Saturday night? Yeah, I think the Saturday to Sunday midnight is when I picked. So that is, that's where you have to go. Um, yes, you did miss the whole thing. I'm sorry, <laughs> but you can rewatch it. I don't know if it takes a few minutes for it to finish rendering once I click end the video. You can rewatch it. I'm not that entertaining, but you might be able to laugh at me a little. And then you can say, she put a smile on my face. It was worth it, right? And um, I know lots of people are home or traveling for the Easter weekend, which I obviously forgot about because my post office is closed. But um, yeah, that's it for me. And I will get back to work on these so that you guys can have these tutorials. And then we'll be crocheting together again. It'll be fun. Now, how do I do buttons? What is that green for? Microphone? Oh, I could mute myself. That's not helpful and end stream found it okay bye guys thank you for coming thank you for chatting with me and i'll do more fun things as i can bye
your stream will stop immediately. Yes, I know. Push. 